Ladies and girls, my name is Hotsusti and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included where we are still waiting for this system to be completed. Last time we planned out some more apartments, uh, planned out the rest of the pipe, got also a good portion of the pipe actually being built so uh, once we can cool this pool of water we should then also be able um, to uh, cool the base uh, once the water is a bit uh, has a lower temperature because the uh, bristle blossom they are stifled because the air is a bit on the warm side uh, over 30 degrees Celsius um, so if we can lower the temperature just two degrees then we are golden here and of course we can then even try to lower it further um, we also are waiting for 50 kilograms more steel so we can have the uh, uh, steam turbine made out of steel uh, but all in good time. Why do we have cold damage here? Everything that we pump in on this side should be above freezing once it turns to water so that's something i don't really understand but then maybe this is just one of the quirks of this game What happened here? That's was also a nice or curious game mechanic. If the crude oil heats up and turns into sour gas, and if that is then cooled down, it becomes uh, petroleum. So basically, that's the most efficient way, or um, in terms of uh, uh, used power to get to petroleum because you can uh, just use uh, a heat source to get to the sour gas and then you have to somehow cool it which probably requires a bit of energy but the energy you can then get out of uh, using uh, petroleum generators that's uh, more than what you put in it's similar to this setup which at least when refining steel um, I'm using less power than I get back from the steam turbine So maybe that's why this is a bit more complicated than it needs to be because we could just uh, uh, push that through a thermo aqua tuner uh, to cool it back down but then we would require power on this side on the aqua tuner side we, we, we would need to cool it and this way we basically have passive cooling up here uh, which generates also uh, power um, on the off chance that the temperatures are high enough okay there are a few more pieces of the pipe still missing we 
have something in here. We take Joya seeds. Food wise, we are not there yet. Um, okay. Novel bed is ready. Okay, the wiring is back in, so let's add the floor here, and then we are still waiting on the steel. there that could be planted here so I'm curious why they are not doing it this top part here two pieces there and then of course the steam turbine made out of steel um, where did the steel go? comes together um, I place that here power is there so that There we have the steel. So we can also let's this one in. Let's also set this to priority fix. Let's add out the dock made out of iron. Two, yeah, let's do two. Then I created already one suit. Let's make another one. Okay, 
okay the wiring is done we only need the turbine still waiting 200 kilos of plastic which should not be really an issue because we have that lying around down here just have to go grab it then we are good to go piece of pipe missing there And of course we need to connect this pipe and we got the plastic So I think actually we can already connect this up, fill in the uh, hydrogen in here. There the steam turbine is being built. Here, actually, we can run this thing. It gets cooled through both loops, and this will cool down the hydrogen in uh, this room. We are going in with 31 degrees, we are going back with 13 degrees. So, and the uh, hydrogen is being cooled down. The temperatures in this tank are going down, at least on this side. It will take a bit until it evens out over the, the whole tank. But once we have consistent temperatures below 30 degrees, we can also think about um, starting the cooling there. Um, so. Maybe let's replace every auto piece in here with normal pipe that should already do part of the cooling. And if it's not enough, we can use radiant pipe. But radiant pipe is more expensive than normal pipe, so if we have enough normal pipe, we should have cooling effect. Here is heating up 80 degrees, cooling the uh, aqua tuners. Um, so that should be all fine. Ooh, nice! We managed to get this in place while not pushing in any of the fluid here on that side. That's what I like to see. That's good work, duplicants. You did something right. Okay, then here, the level suit. The 
labor suit. Nice. Um. Currently, a bit of uh, wrong. What happened here? Somebody explain. No? No one has an idea? Weird. As always, uh, Snazzy suit, we'll take that. Um, and give it to Bert. Yep, let's turn this one on. And then let's see. Temperatures here is in the green. That's mainly because uh, that's close to the uh, to where the uh, cool air comes in. Then here we're transporting a bit of uh, warm air through here. So maybe we can also replace. here and it looks like the uh, temperatures are going down here already sufficiently um, maybe here on the side want to have no isolated pipes. Okay, this is running. Water gets cooler and cooler. That's what I want to see. Um, here I need a bit of gold that I don't have. So maybe we should produce a bit. Just so we have it. And then let's think how to proceed with the next project. Uh, mainly the first step is how do we get over there. Option one here on the top. Option two here through the bottom. If we go through the bottom, we probably go through here which means we should have a lock here on this side to uh, so we can open this one uh, because we actually want um, we actually want the duplicates in the suits to uh, to deal with that Ooh, nice. Um, these beds are done. So, anyone still sleeping in a cot can move over and 
and remove those. Alright, that's it for this episode where we started uh, the cooling of our base. So next time we can focus on different things. Until then, goodbye!